First they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, then you win. Live as if you were to die tomorrow. Learn as if you were to live forever. You must be the change you wish to see in the world. It is better to be violent, if there is violence in our hearts, than to put on the cloak of nonviolence to cover impotence. Happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. Strength does not come from physical capacity. It comes from an indomitable will. Where there is love there is life. It is health that is real wealth and not pieces of gold and silver. A man who was completely innocent, offered himself as a sacrifice for the good of others, including his enemies, and became the ransom of the world. It was a perfect act. In a gentle way, you can shake the world. The weak can never forgive. Forgiveness is the attribute of the strong. You must not lose faith in humanity. Humanity is an ocean, if a few drops of the ocean are dirty, the ocean does not become dirty. Interdependence is and ought to be as much the ideal of man as self-sufficiency. Man is a social being. The greatness of a nation can be judged by the way its animals are treated. An eye for an eye only ends up making the whole world blind. Satisfaction lies in the effort, not in the attainment, full effort is full victory. A man is but the product of his thoughts what he thinks, he becomes. Power is of two kinds. One is obtained by the fear of punishment and the other by acts of love. Power based on love is a thousand times more effective and permanent than the one derived from fear of punishment. Even if you are a minority of one, the truth is the truth. The essence of all religions is one. Only their approaches are different. There is a higher court than courts of justice and that is the court of conscience. It supersedes all other courts. A nation's culture resides in the hearts and in the soul of its people. In prayer it is better to have a heart without words than words without a heart. There is a sufficiency in the world for man's need but not for man's greed. The real ornament of woman is her character, her purity. Prayer is the key of the morning and the bolt of the evening. Freedom is never dear at any price. It is the breath of life. What would a man not pay for living? You can chain me, you can torture me, you can even destroy this body, but you will never imprison my mind. Truth never damages a cause that is just. There is more to life than increasing its speed. We may stumble and fall but shall rise again, it should be enough if we did not run away from the battle. I object to violence because when it appears to do good, the good is only temporary, the evil it does is permanent. An ounce of practice is worth more than tons of preaching. When I admire the wonders of a sunset or the beauty of the moon, my soul expands in the worship of the Creator. If I had no sense of humor, I would long ago have committed suicide. A small body of determined spirits fired by an unquenchable faith in their mission can alter the course of history. Man's nature is not essentially evil. Brute nature has been known to yield to the influence of love. You must never despair of human nature. To give pleasure to a single heart by a single act is better than a thousand heads bowing in prayer. I suppose leadership at one time meant muscles, but today it means getting along with people. A coward is incapable of exhibiting love, it is the prerogative of the brave. The good man is the friend of all living things. My religion is based on truth and nonviolence. Truth is my God. Nonviolence is the means of realizing Him. I am prepared to die, but there is no cause for which I am prepared to kill. Action expresses priorities. Peace is its own reward. Honest disagreement is often a good sign of progress. To believe in something, and not to live it, is dishonest. There are people in the world so hungry, that God cannot appear to them except in the form of bread. Nobody can hurt me without my permission. 
Action expresses priorities. It has always been a mystery to me how men can feel themselves honored by the humiliation of their fellow beings. Man becomes great exactly in the degree in which he works for the welfare of his fellow men.